Good morning, everyone. It's 33 degrees in Texas, so you won't see me sitting outside this morning. <laughs> but here's a word. It's in uh, Matthew chapter 8, verse 5. Jesus heals the centennial servant. And when Jesus was entered into Capitonian, there came unto him a centenarian betracing him and saying, Lord, my servant lies at home sick of the um, sickness, grievous, tormented. And Jesus said to him, I will come and heal him. And the centenarian answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou should come under my roof but speak the word, only my servant shall be healed. For I am a man under authority, having soldiers under me. And I say to this man, go, and he goes. To another, come, and he comes. And to my servant, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard this, he marveled and said to them that followed him, Verily I say unto you, I have not found a great faith no, not in Israel. And I say unto you that many shall come from the east and west and shall sit down with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the children of the kingdom, but the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into outer darkness. Then shall there be weeping and gasping of teeth. But And Jesus said to the centennial, Go thy way, and as thou have believed, so be it done unto thee. And his servant was healed in that same hour. You know, like he said, the servant, um, the soldier said that, I mean, centennial said that if he says something to his man under him, that the soldiers, they he tell them to do it, they do it. And he had that kind of faith that he, if Jesus just said the word, that he knew it was done. And that that is great faith. And Matthew, I mean, uh, Hebrews 11 talks about faith. Faith is the subject unto things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. For by the elders attain a great report through faith, we understand that the world was framed by the word of God. That which we seen were not of the things which appear, do appear. By faith, Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous. God testifying of all the gifts that he being dead yet speaketh. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because God had tra translated him from before his trans translation. He had this testimony that please, he pleased God. But without faith, it's impossible to please him that he that comes to God trust and believe that he is and that he is rewarder of them that diligently seek him and by faith being warned of God of the things not seen yet moved with fear prepared an ark that Noah by faith Noah prepared an ark of saying saving all his house by which he con condemned the world and because heirs of righteousness, which is by faith. So it's by faith. Your faith um, has, okay, let's see. By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for inheritance, obeyed, and he went out not knowing where he went. By faith, he served journey in the land of the promise as a strange country dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac, Jacob, and the heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked for a city which had 
the foundation which the builder and the maker is God. Amen. And through faith, Sarah herself received strength to conceive a seed and was delivered on a child when she was past age. She was over 90 years old because she judged him faithful who had promised. Therefore, um, gave him a, as many as the stars of the sky multiplied as a sand which is by the sea should and in numbered. These all died in faith, having received the promise, and not having received the promise, but having seen them afar off and were persuaded of them and embraced them and confessed that they were strangers and pil pilgrims on this earth. For they say such things, declare plainly that they seek a country. And truly, if they had been mindful of that country from which ha they came out, they might have the opportunity to have returned. But now they desire a better country that is in heavenly. Wherefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God. They are not ashamed to be called their God. And he has prepared them a city. By faith, Abraham, when he was tried, offered up Isaac that he like had received the promise, offered up to his only begotten son, of whom it was said that in Isaac shall the seed be called, accounting a county that God was able to raise him up even from the dead, from wherefore he received him a figure. By faith, Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau concerning them to come. By faith, Jacob, when he was dying, when, when he was dying, blessed both sons of Joseph and worship leaving upon them the top of his staff. By faith, Joseph, when he died, made mention of the departing of the children of Israel and gave commandment uh, concerning his bones. By faith, Moses, when he was born, was hid three months by his parents because they say he was a prosperous child and they were not afraid of the king's commandments. By faith, Moses, when he was come to years, refused he, to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer afflictions with the people of God and to enjoy the pleasure and and then to to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. He would rather be uh, with the children of God. Amen than the pleasures of sin for a season. See, that that right there speaks to us today, in this generation today. Uh, this generation today would rather have the pleasure of sin for a season because they are blind as a bat, and they don't know what their future holds, uh, the destruction that they're, the road of destruction that they're on and where it will end. Well, Moses chose to walk suffer for the afflictions with the people of God rather than the pleasures of sin. He could have enjoyed those pleasures that those rich people had, but he would rather suffer with the people of God. See? And that is what how this generation is today. This generation today would rather have the pleasures of sin for a season. They don't realize what their end is, the end. The end is destruction and death. I would rather walk with God and, and suffer with the people of God than live in this world with the pleasure of sin for a short time and that leads to this destruction and death. See? But anyway, I was talking about faith. I didn't mean to get into that, but it just came to me. Okay, through faith he kept the Passover by sprinkling of the blood that he destroyed the firstborn should touch them. By faith they passed through the Red Sea and by dry land. 
By faith, the walls of Jericho fell down. By faith, Raka per perished not. The harlot Raka perished not with them that believed not when she had received the spies with peace. And um, with faith, sudden the kingdom. Oh, I'll see that. Wait a minute. But anyway, it's it's God um, will provide if you walk by faith. Um, but last night I went in the Christian chat room, and this old preacher man that's uh, doesn't believe the Bible anymore was in there talking about I don't believe that, you know, about faith. And I, I got up on the mic and I said, yeah, the reason why it doesn't happen to you because you don't believe. And um, that's why you're, you're walking in unbelief. He's an old preacher and he's, he, you know, I just don't understand these old preachers when they have seen God move. They have seen the miracles of God. And then they say they don't believe the Bible. Give me a break, you old, old worn out preachers. Get off, off, off your old butt and, and go back to where you once walked with God and believed his word. You know, it angers me that these, uh, I, I can understand someone that is not saved and they're blind, but I don't understand you old preachers that don't believe the word of God, when you've seen God move and you've seen the miracles of God and you get up there saying you don't believe, well, if you don't believe, shut your mouth and don't say a word and leave these young generation people alone because we don't need your old, uh, your old corrupted um, beliefs. We believe, we, 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 Believe the word of God. And if God said it, that settles it. So go, just shut your mouth, keep quiet, and leave this young generation alone. You hear me, old preacher man with unbelief? 